In the seventh grade, my best friend and I decided we would buy our own private island. It would be a utopian society with only one rule, no boys allowed. In the 10th grade, when I was sexually assaulted, I googled my feelings, learned all the vocabulary, did all the research, educated my friends, sisters, strangers. In the 12th grade, when a boy touched me inappropriately, I slapped him hard across the face in front of all of his friends. In my first year of college, when a guy told me that women can fake orgasms every now and then to make the guy feel better, I told him, I don't care if you've been down there half an hour, I'm not faking shit. In my second year of college, when my boyfriend yelled at me, I didn't see it as a sign of emotional abuse. Because those kinds of relationships don't happen to super feminist warriors like me, right? After all, I was the future queen of an island where he could be nothing more than a tourist, but no one tells you that. The first time he yells at me, he goes, in all the places no one can see, and you will search for the part of yourself that is magnet enough to attract us. Anger. The second time he yells, he'll be with an eviction notice in his hand until everyone's lived in your vocal cords to stop making so much noise and you will shrink. As you remember that land has always been called a she, and man feels entitled to her resources, naming the earth mother so they can treat her and how they treat women, harvesting self esteem at a rate faster than it can be reproduced. Human patience was a renewable resource, but confidence was not. Was a ship lost at sea, and my heart was a lighthouse calling his brokenness home for a season. I did not invite him to stay, but the third time he yells, the seventh time he yells, the fifteenth time he yells, it will be to make you a tourist in your own home. Everyone told me I was a super feminist warrior, strong like a mountain. But we all know how men love to carve their faces into mountains that were never theirs. So I do not ask for help when we don't believe victims known as she, when we don't believe the earth as she accuses man of global warming. When we call climate change a hoax, we might as well ask the earth what she was wearing. When we say temperatures didn't rise in China, when we say he didn't hit you, when we say that you provoke him, when we say it snowed too much for pollution to matter, he apologized too much for abuse to matter. When he told me, I meant the world to him. He wasn't lying. He treated me exactly how we are taught to treat the world.